everybody, this is Mystery Grill here. Hi! I am with the Fruit of Chrysia today, and we are with when Yuji asked about going out with someone to Sachi, and I tried to do a... I tried to do a, uh, face cam, um, it was not working, so let's get started with this. Imasen. Oh, so she's saying no. She doesn't have anyone. Your experience with men to date? That's still stalkers, Yuji. Arimasen. Hmm. I know I'm the one who asked you those questions, but answering them so politely, would that also be because you're the class representative? Okay, okay, that makes sense. What an admirable devotion to customer service. She is not a waitress, she is not a maid, she is a student! But she still says thank you in a nice way. I think she's just like being a Nothing comes to mind. Wakarimashita. Moshi, hoka ni kikitai koto ga dekita ra, heya ni aru naisen denwa de sanban wo oshite kudasai. Watashi no heya ni tsunagaru no de. Oh my. Got it. Sore dewa, watashi wa kore de shitsurei shimasu ne. Wow, so she's being nice. Yay. With that note of farewell, Sachi bows like a genuine housemaid and starts to turn away. Ah, Sachi! Hi. Thank you for the tour. I appreciate it. Hi. How oh, cute. Huh. The class representatives these days seem to be surprisingly tough-willed friend. I will never- I won't, I won't understand that at all. I don't understand his logic in that. After Sachi's tour ended, I took another look around the interior of the of the building on my own. Okay, so a little extra for that, a little extra. By the time I return to my room, the sun is already low in the sky and the light growing dim. Should probably put this stuff away before it gets dark. Opening my backpack, I pulled out the contents and began to pull them away on the shelves I've been provided with. It's a real help that I've got a closet. Things I can leave in a visible place and things to be stowed away in the back. Dividing my possessions between the two, the latter are clearly more numerous. Hmm. Ow. I must be carrying a lot of stuff. Normal, huh? While looking over my mountain of luggage, I mutter in a self-deprecating tone. <gasps> the gorgeousness of the sunset. The gorgeousness of the sunset. As I work, the sun sinks leisurely into the sky. Ooh, stars. Now it is... 4.45. time 4 45 a.m. I woke up in my usual way and ran the course I'd marked down mentally on my way here that's really early um I would understand if a female did that if they needed to look gorgeous because us females do take some time but uh, come on and to tell the truth when I was stopped by the policeman yesterday it was because I'd been wandering back and forth in the same place yeah, that's not suspicious at all, is it? It's more like... I don't know how to say this. Hmm. I'd been planning out a possible marathon route, in other words. Okay, so... You're basically... Just... Finding ways to run. That's not too bad. I woke at the usual time, ran at the usual time, and now I'm eating my usual breakfast menu. What's his breakfast menu? Let's see, maybe eggs? Maybe toast? 
maybe juice, maybe miso soup, maybe rice. I don't know. Heck with it. No different from the days when I was living together with my master in the mountains. My standard tempo of living. That's weird. That's really weird. If there is a difference, it's limited to the slight surprise I felt when I opened my eyes and found a roof over my head. That would be different in a sense. During my hike from Yamanashi, I'd gotten used to sleeping in the open. So you were so you walked the whole way from that place? That must have taken him like maybe two weeks. Oh my gosh, I feel horrible. <laughs> So when I woke up inside a room, there was a slight feeling of uneasiness, and as I thought, right, I'm living in a dorm now. That mild discomfort hasn't disappeared even now as I'm eating my corn cereal. It's hard to settle down inside a new lair until it's ingrained with your scent. I would understand like it gets you a little while to get used to the whole room and all, but come on. Even so, I'll start living at this tempo every day from now on, going to school every morning, so there's no real need to rush things. If I actively spend every day packing myself with potentially useful knowledge, someday this sort of lifestyle might come naturally to me. The effort strikes me as a little troublesome, but as my master once told me, when it comes to your life and your woman, a little bit of trouble is just about right. Mind blown. I don't know what to say to that. Speaking of women, they're a simple bunch, but that doesn't make them any less difficult to handle. I'm a woman. I'm hard to handle myself, man. Heck. I learned that much in my first year living with my master. I wonder how long he lived with his master. my master's words. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder. Now this is where the storytelling gets good. When you are brought, running fast is enough to make you popular. When you're a middle schooler, the guy who can fight will be popular. And after that, it's the guy with brains who gets the girls. In other words, Run, punch, and read books. And you'll never run dry. What do you think? Short and sweet, right? I don't know what just happened with my voice, but it just ended up being like... That was her theory, at least. Her theory? So we... The master was a she. I don't comprehend, I don't comprehend, I don't comprehend. <laughs> the things she said were always ridiculously simplistic. Honestly, I ignored those words with a snort the first time I heard them. But my master was a woman who put her beliefs into practice. Every morning she made me run, and every day she hit me with a stack of books. Ouch! I would hate to be hit with a stack of books, like, what the heck? Although I don't know if she's to blame, I still run 16 kilometers every morning and habitually read books whenever I feel I have free time. I think that's more of a habit in a sense, but I mean, in the comments you guys can debate about this. I, I don't know what to say at this point. Sometimes she was harsh. Sometimes she was sweet. She would emit an embraceive, overpowering aura at times. But every once in a while, she will, she could be so gentle that I thought my brain would melt out my ears. Okay. That was my master, a woman with a sizable build who was nonetheless very picky about the little things. I've had a hard time dealing with large women ever since those days, but being aware of the fact that doesn't matter, doesn't mean I can fix it. I can't, I can't wait. But what? What large woman are you talking about? Tall? Big? I don't know. This is gonna get me mad. 
It's not that I dislike them on a conscious level, but whenever I see a tall woman, I can't help but feel wary out of pure instinct. What makes us intimidating? Okay, I'm I'm a large woman, height and little build wise, but I don't get that. I don't. If you ask why I'm bringing this up all of a sudden, well, that would be because I've just been reminded that there's a large woman in at this school as well. Who are you stinking talking about, you little bark man? Oh. Gosh, I don't know who this girl is. But we're gonna have to figure that out in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am enjoying the fruit of Grisaya. I hope you guys are too. If you like this video, like it and let it freeze in the winter. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay frosty! Bye, everybody!